Hey you guys, I'm coming back with another recording. I know my yard looks a mess, but um, have a little bit more of motivation to try and make something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, would you unlock the car? Yes, I'll do it right now. Okay. <sighs> Another hot frickin' day, dude. like 104, 105 out here right now. And the reason why I haven't really had motivation to do videos outside is because it's been so freaking hot. Here, honey. Here, you let him in. Yeah. Can't wait for the weather to start cooling down. But anyway, I wanted to get into a few things. And this recording might be lengthy, so I mean in my last in my last recording I mean, I'm just, I want to apologize about not bringing more quality content to my channel, um, you know, lately. Um, you know, I've just been busy with work and, you know, having to deal with house and everything and running errands and all that. And, um... You know, I, I, I want to show my face on camera again, but I just felt like I haven't had the need to really do that as much. So I want to, um, I want to commemorate somebody who's on YouTube. Um, he goes by the name of Six Sun Niz. He's been bringing a lot of, uh, quality content, um, about the things he likes talking about as far as, like, um, you know, what, what's happening with the stars, uh, celest celestial events, um, what's, what's been happening on this earth, um, so yeah, he's been bringing a lot of great content. And if you guys hear me cough, I've been sick for a few days, so I'm trying to get over that. So my last video about, I said um, how starseed, starseed souls should gravitate to pyramid structures or, you know, the idea of what these people, of what those people over there like had in mind about what the pyramids were really about, um, how to gravitate to this um the star energy how they built the pyramids um lining up to these certain star constellations because it means something it means it means um 
spiritual realms. These, these mental realms. Because I want to say this. I want to say, if you're a person here on earth and you feel like lately you haven't been able to use your full potential, um, it's for a reason. Because the matrix system will usually try to bring you down, um, especially, especially like regarding your health and everything, like your health is, your health is super important. Like that, that should be on par. But you know, think, you know, this realm, this earthly realm is parasitic. So, I mean, you have to do whatever you can to, um, you know, to have your health back, to have your health on point. Because if you don't have your health on point, then you can't, re you can't really do anything. And since your body is made up of, of mostly water, you have to drink water every day. You have to eat the right foods that have substantial amount of water in it. Because I don't think we'd be able to live on this planet properly if we didn't have oceans, lakes, all that. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I'm trying to get rid of the sick, the sickness. And that's that's one reason why I don't want to be on camera right now. It's, it's because I probably look horrible. Um So, yeah. I mean I kind of want to make up I kind of want to make up for the last recording um with this recording. Um So I don't I don't want to say anything that would that would possibly bring this video down if I post it on YouTube. But um <laughs> you hear my spouse coughing too. Um So I <sighs> I just have to say this again, like, if you really feel that you're from somewhere else, like, that's, that's a, that's a natural feeling, that's, that's, that's quite natural, it, it really is, because this physical world, this physical earth world is a prison, uh, everybody's going crazy, uh, there's always chaotic things happening, but, um, but you also have that dark plasma, that, uh, you know, that dark energy inside of you, um, that, you know, that these stars are supposed to activate inside of you. So I I want to say I want to say that to say this um, for all of the people who um, who who view my recording on YouTube um, for any of you who um, you know who didn't take the thing you know. I think that whole thing is a lie because they want they want to make you afraid of the sun when the sun is the only thing that's really saving us at this point 
because the sun is a star and um you know like you know I've been listening to a little bit of um Remedy H's videos and he said that um the sun's going through uh um a coronal mass ejection right now so that's that that whole thing that whole thing is supposed to help the star seeds um you know, not feel stuck here, um, because if for some reason you're feeling stuck, you're feeling like you're not at your full potential as, you know, as your higher self or who you're, who you're really supposed to be. Um, so when you dream at night, um, you're going to go into these different spiritual realms and you're going to see, and you're going to witness like what you're doing. And that, in turn, will help you. It'll help you feel like you're actually progressing. It'll actually feel like um, you're making some sort of, um, you know, progress with your higher self. Um, you know, where your soul is supposed to go. Because oftentimes, oftentimes this earth realm, this earthly parasitical realm it brings people down it, it'll bring your you know it'll bring your physical body down when you're feeling sick um you know you know it'll bring your ego down from people who who think that they're a part of the matrix who think that they don't belong anywhere else so you just you have to just um come out here and get some sunlight, okay? Because for all of the ones who supposedly, quote-unquote, didn't get it, didn't get the thing, um, so these, um, these coronal mass ejections that the sun is, um, you know, you know, whatever it's doing with, uh, the sunspots and everything, like, it's supposed to, um, it's supposed to help the star seed souls out. It's it's helping the star seed souls find their true purpose um, elsewhere. And this, this is what um, this is what the powers that be don't want. They don't want this. Even though, even though you know that they don't have control of your life. I mean, they you know they might have control of this earthly realm which is heavily, um, heavily, heavily root chakra um, you know, it's down at the bottom, but, you know, you yourself, you don't have to feel like you're stuck here, and this is what I want to get out in a, in a video recording, you know, to anyone who, who might want to listen, Who understands that? Who understands that um, you're you're more than just this physical body? You know, you can travel. You can travel to these different um, paradigms, these different um, planes of existence that your soul goes to when you sleep, and then your dreams will tell you. Because I think for all the people who got the thing, like. It's not working for him properly right now. So they're, you know, it's, you know, the sun's either not working for him properly when they, go, when they go out into the sun and then they dream at night or whatever, like, you know, either you know, nothing will show. Nothing will show, or they'll just dream about, like, you know, they'll just dream about mundane things, like, really basic things. Um, but, for, for all the people who stood their ground and didn't get the thing. So the sun, the sun and these stars, they're actually helping us right now. Because they're actually taking us, they're, 
you know, we're traveling to these different planes of existence, these to these different spiritual star realms, and we're actually helping other people there because we know that um, our purpose is way greater than, uh, than, you know, what we may experience here on this earth in our waking life. Like, in our dreams, like, we're actually going places. And this is, this is what the sun is helping, helping us do right now. You just, you know, even though it's hot, I'm in Northern California, even though it's hot, and, um, I don't really like sitting out here because I'm sweating, um, it's still important to come out here and get the sunlight. It really is. Very important. So I want to say this again before I end the recording. For, for all of you, for, for, most, for most of you that feel like, you know, this, uh, you know, this society, the earth is kind of just like making you slow, um, it's bringing you down, um, your health might not be in order right now, um, you may be getting over like a, like a common cold, like, like what I have, even though it's summertime. Because um, a lot of these pollutants can get into the air and they can get into your body. So it's really important to uh, take care of yourself. So actually, um, what, I'm, what I'm doing for myself right now is I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm stopping. I, I'm going to stop smoking 420 for a little while so I can get back on track on um, where I want to be here because um, I really just I really just want to get in, I really just want to get into um, a different job at this point because it's not really it's not really the job itself that I hate it's the people I don't really hate the people, per se, but, like, um, most of these people out here, they're not good for your psyche. They're just not good for your overall well-being. Because, uh, all they think about is, um, basic, um, basic tasks, basic mundane things. And when they see you, it's like they don't, you know, they really don't like talking to people who are different. They like talking to people who are more like themselves, um, basic, uh, not cut from a different cloth kind of people. Who just think that, you know, I don't know. All they want to do is just get ahead in this life. Uh, they don't really think about... Um, they don't really think about anything unique. They don't think about... Doing anything um, outside the norm. So these people out here, they just want to... They basically just want to do what everybody else is doing. Like... You know, like monkey see, monkey do, that kind of thing. These people, these people out here, they don't really think outside the box. Because they think that they don't have to. They don't want to be different. Most people, most people over here, out here, they don't want to be different. They're afraid to be different. So 
So they think that they think that if you stand out in a different way, that's a bad thing. When it re when really it isn't. But um. Anyway. I hope this recording like I I hope I gave this recording its due justice because I felt like the last recording I just I just wanted to get out there with. With no, you know, it really had, it didn't really have any substance to it, so I just, in this recording, I, I kind of want to give out some kind of substance about, like, what I'm, you know, what my insight is and um, what I feel is really going on. So, you guys, I really think that this winter, <laughs> like, like Game of Thrones, winter is coming. I really think that this winter, it's going to be a bad one. It's going to be bad. It's going to be cold. It's going to be out of the norm. Like, kind of like what we saw like a few years back with, um, you know, with Texas and like, you know, how that, how that winter storm went for them. It's like most people like couldn't even get in, like out of their houses most people couldn't get, like, to and from their houses because, because the winter weather there was so bad. Like, they couldn't even get in or out, of, or out of their house because they were so, like, snowed in, you know? So I feel like, I feel like this winter... This winter is going to be a nasty one. Like, I, like I really feel like... I really feel like it's going to be like that that way again. I mean, over here in my area, um, you know, thankfully we haven't had to run away from any fires lately. But, um... I mean... I mean, at, at my house, I still don't, I still don't watch the news. I don't, I don't really know what's going on in the news lately because I don't watch the news. Um, so yeah, I don't really know what they're talking about on there lately, but, but yeah, I mean... Thankfully, we haven't had to run out or, you know, pack up our stuff and leave just because a fire is, like, right near us. Like, thankfully, that hasn't, that hasn't happened. Um, and I think, I think fall is, like, right around the corner. Even though, like, in Northern California, where I'm at, it's still really effing hot. I mean, I mean, we're still going through a bad drought. We haven't had any rain for at least... I mean, we've had a little bit of rain, but not like a substantial amount. But yeah, California. California is going through the worst drought it's ever been in in a long time. I mean, to me, it just seems like it's always going through droughts now. Like... I don't know. Okay, I think that's all I wanted to say. I'll come back with another recording. Another topic. Um, pretty soon, I think. If I have anything I, I want to talk about. So I just want to say, you guys, stand your stand your ground, starseed souls, starseed souls, stand your ground, because um, you may not feel it yet, but you know your higher self is. You know we are going places, and we are doing things. Um, you know it may not feel like it right now. Like I feel like, I feel like for myself, like 
it's just really slow. It's slow pace for me right now. Like, I mean, time is still going fast. It's still going way fast. And I'm still seeing these, um, I'm still, I'm still seeing these same three digit numbers all the time. Um, so yeah, I mean, the awakening is still happening. The quickening, the quickening is still happening because time is still going fast. It's still going really fast. I mean, it's not going to slow down because, um, you know, us as a collective, a conscious collective, we keep waking up to these new things, um, you know, that the universe is going through and that, and what we're going through, um, down here on earth. Like, that's not gonna stop. Because, um, you know, as a conscious collective, we want to reach our full potential. And, um, that's just going to keep happening. It's not going to stop because, um, you know, age of Aquarius, it's almost here. Um, just expect for, just, you know, just expect while here, um, 